All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to make an APK using the custom APK maker. And if you have a preset that you wanna share on the Play Store or presets, um, we can actually do that for free or you can create a paid app as well. I'm gonna create a free one here. So in custom live wallpaper, we are going to export, make sure we have exported our preset. And I have it called split, edit your settings in here. Um, choose that option if you want to disable exporting, but I'm not gonna export it since I already have it. And then we're going to go into custom APK maker. So inside of custom APK maker, if this does not load, what I find is that if you go to your recent apps and just close custom APK and reopen it, this should load. We're going to add and create a new one. I'm going to call this craft math free custom stuff. All right, so once we do that, you got to add an icon. You can change the package name. I'm going to do that here to match what I have on the Play Store or my, my Dark Skittles and KOWP toots. So com.craftmath.customfreestuff. Uh, once you upload this to the Play Store, you cannot change that, so keep that in mind. Let's add an icon. Now, when you're inside of here, you'll create creating your icon. I just picked the, the actually the casing to my MacBook Pro, um, an Android app and a MacBook picture. Who would have thought? But uh, you can crop it, add that. It may take a minute to load. Um, give a brief description. And we will see where this shows up, if it shows up at all. And let me back out of my keyboard. All right, so wallpapers, let's manage. Let's add that split.kowp or whichever preset you want to add and that you can barely see that but that is the one that I want to add to it so I'm gonna to go back I'm not gonna add anything else for right now uh, theme I'm gonna leave it alone uh, we'll see if this gets used where it gets used at uh, just be careful if you change your colors obviously you don't want your text to match like the primary color because then you wouldn't be able to read anything key store if now I use Android Studio to create my custom APKs. I may start using this in the future, um, but for now we can go to automatic key store. Uh, version, if we look at the manual version since today's May the 10th and it says um, 09, I don't know, maybe because it's nine o'clock in the morning, I'm not sure, but uh, if you wanna change this, you can. I'm just gonna leave it alone for right now, so I'm gonna leave it on automatic. And we'll talk a little bit more about Key Store in a little while. If you're coming over from Android Studio, I think you have to use manual to import it. But I have not tested that yet. Now, export is not going to create the APK. But I'm going to go ahead and export this. And I want to show something to you. So if I, I exported it, now I'm going to go to my file explorer on my device. And you want to find the custom APK maker folder. And what it just did, when I exported, it created these three things. So a .icon, a .zip, and a .project. Now, if we go back into custom APK maker, and we actually go to build. If we go to build, what this is going to do is actually make the APK that we can put on the Play Store. You'll notice it's going to do a whole bunch of things, and then it's going to say something down here like uh, generating signed APK or something like that, or signing APK. And once it's done with this, it's going to say share, close, install. You can actually go ahead and install this on your device right now. I'll do that real quick. If you get a warning, um, just go to settings. I mean, since you know you're not getting anything, you're not going to install something crazy on your own device. I'm just going to allow this installation. And what we should now see, once this installs, we can go into KOWP, load a preset, and this should actually show up in the, what is it, the installed section where we go to load a preset. So I'm going to go to done. Um, I'm going to back out of here. And before we do that as well, let me go into back into that folder, um, my custom APK maker. And you'll notice you do have uh, two new files in here now, the .keystore and the .apk. So we have those two pieces right there. And we'll come back and talk more about those in a second. So going into custom, just showing you that I have installed it. If I go to load a preset now, if I go to installed, um, there it is right there, craft math free. And, uh, you know, what I'm seeing now is I'm not seeing any of that stuff. Okay, free stuff for custom. Remember that description? That's where that description is showing up. And as you can see, the little MacBook Pro icon is showing up right there as well. So when we picked our icon earlier. All right, now, 
I'm going to just come right back and I'm going to uninstall this on my device because I'm actually going to want to download this from the Play Store to, show, to make sure everything's working. So I'm just going to uninstall. And now we're ready to put this app on the Play Store. So if we go into Custom APK, I'm not going to go through all of the steps in getting this thing on the Play Store. But if we go back to the hamburger menu on the Custom APK main menu, if you go to Publish on Play Store, uh, there's a little link that goes through all the stuff that you have to do. Um, checklist, creating your Google Play developer account. I think it's like 25 bucks or something like that. So create all that stuff. So assuming that you have your Google Play Developer Console uh, or your account created, um, some things that I go through when I'm creating an APK, I, I've created a new uh, application and I'm calling it Custom Free by Craft Math. We don't have to give it the exact same title and description as we did uh, back when we created our APK. So short description, um, here are a few free things for your custom apps. Now, at any point in the game, if you're first getting into this, uh, up here at the top, why can't I publish? This is going to give you things that you have to do before you can publish your app. I got to create some icons. Um, I got to select a category, give a short description, full description. I need to upload that APK. I'm going to show you all of this. Um, target at least one country. Some of these things I'm not going to show, but okay, like we can set the price to free or make it paid. And you have to do some type of survey to uh, set your content rating for your app. But you have to complete all of these. And they tell you where to go or kind of um, to do this stuff. So let's just go ahead and complete a few things. Now notice we have like what? How many things do we have to check off here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. So if we come in here and do a full description. Um, so let's call this full description, presets, comps, widgets, etc. These are free. Enjoy. Just kind of giving it a slightly different name. And okay, down here, what we have to do is we have to do two screenshots. I'm going to put two screenshots in here. Now you can go ahead and do all of these, but if we come and we save, let me scroll down to the bottom. Where is it at? There's a save button somewhere. Oh yeah, save draft right there in front of my face. So if I go to save draft and I click on why can't I publish? Well, now we're going to see that some of these things are gone. Remember how we had more of these a while ago? Because I have given a description, both short and full description. Now we need to add some icons. So I have some icons that I'm going to add here as well as screenshots. And again, if we come back up here to why can't I publish, we need a high res icon, a feature graphic, and two screenshots to take care of those three things. So I'm going to do that right now. So what I've added here are two screenshots. Uh, be careful with your dimensions. You may get some warnings there. And I just really just took two screenshots of the preset. Um, I have a high res icon and a feature graphic. Pay attention to the dimensions there as well. And then if we come back up here to the top, um, I've already saved this, but click on save draft, click on why can't I publish. And now notice some of our red stuff is now disappearing even more. There are these other pieces um, if we scroll through here, let's just go, so we're done, you can add more icons, I'm done with that for right now. So application type, it's an application category, we're going to do uh, probably personalization, and then we're going to have to do a content rating thing right here shortly, uh, do some contact details, if you have a website, email, not, don't worry about phone, and privacy policy, uh, we're not going to do that right now. So. If I save draft yet again and go to why can't I publish, did we get rid of some stuff? Maybe, maybe not. Now we need to upload some stuff. Now over here to the side, notice this green check. I didn't mention it earlier, but now we have a green check over here. Uh, now we need to actually get rid of these other or make these other checks green as well. So let's move on up here to app releases. Let's create or manage a production. And what we want to do here is we want to create a release because we got to upload that APK. Now that APK that was on our device from our file explorer, if I go to here, we want to upload this APK right there. Um, I've already moved it to my computer. So I'm going to upload APK and I have it saved on my desktop. Just make sure I pick the right one. 
So it's uploading that APK. And you may notice this version name is what we had earlier as well. Version code, uh, maybe that was automatically generated as well. But pretty much um, we can just save this draft the way we have it. And now if I come back, let's see here. Why can't I publish? Now, you need to acknowledge guidelines, country, application fee, but notice it doesn't say upload an APK anymore because we have uploaded an APK. So from here, we want to uh, get these two green checks, uh, content rating. If you ever get um, this little message right here, uh, I'm gonna click cancel because it says you have unsaved changes. So even though it doesn't have a save button up here, sometimes the save button's down here like I was getting confused a while ago. All right. Now we can go into the content rating and what you're going to have to do here is take a quick survey to determine what, who your app or what your app is rated for. So take that survey to determine your app rating. Now I have an error. Let me uh, just refresh. And let's see what we got here. So let's resume just in case you get that. So there you go. So fill this out, go through all the questions uh, once you type in all this stuff and I'll see you back in a second. So once you go through the rating thing, um, I mean, there's no violence, no uh, explicit material. So whatever rating you may get, we have a green check. Pricing and distribution, we're gonna set this to free. And then now, um, if I save draft, let's see what else we got. Why can't I publish? So we're getting there. We're almost there. We target some, and let's save this. And make sure, if you want to make it free, huh, big point, you can't make it paid anymore. So save draft, and let's see. Okay, finally, ready to publish. So I'm going to click on ready to publish. Let's go to manage releases. And now that we have, you know, back at this release, we've already uploaded our APK. Remember that from earlier? And what we can do is we can come down here to the bottom. What's new in this release? Uh, this is the first release. Now I have run into some issues. The Google Play Developer Console was just updated up maybe about a month or two ago. Um, this used to be a little bit different. And I'm gonna see what happens. We get to experience this together. But I'm just gonna click on save. This is what you read when somebody updates an app. This, I think, that, well, this is supposed to be what you read every time somebody updates an app. I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna click review. And um, we're going to uh, start the rollout. Make it available, and I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, welcome back. As you can see, it is on the Play Store, and we can go ahead and install this. Let's just kind of go over some things first. Notice the current version, uh, content rating, all those things you had to complete uh, or do in order to get this far are showing up up here. What's new? Remember, we typed that in. This is where I ran into a little issue. We're going to test this out right here in a second because I'm going to update this app yet again. Now, before I proceed any further, I'm just uh, all this stuff you can find you'll be able to find all of these these free things, these ones right here. Uh, go to any one of my videos and look for KOWP free stuff in the description. I'm going to add uh, these presets because I'm gonna remove this app because two apps is enough for me to update, but this stuff, I'm still providing it to you all. Just go to that link right here and you can get all that stuff. I have a few other things in there and um, I plan on updating that you know, from time to time in the future. So I'm gonna click on install. I'm going to install it on my device, and I'm just going to give it a minute. Now, notice we do have two pictures up here. Those are the only two pictures. Those are the two screenshots that came directly from here. And let's see. Okay, there's our little icon that we added. I guess this was the high res, maybe. I can't remember which one it was, but nonetheless, you know, it's up there. Um, let's see if it has been installed. Yep, see right there? Custom free by CraftMath. All right. So I'm assuming this has been enough time for it to install. Let's go and see. Now recall, a little while ago, I had deleted uh, the um, preset, or yeah, the, the APK that I installed just to show it to you. So I'm just gonna click over here, go to load preset, just refresh it, and let's see if it's going to be up there. CraftMath free stuff. So there it is right there. Now what I want to do, now, again, remember, I did uninstall it a while ago. So now this is that fresh, this is coming directly from the Play Store. 
Now, if we go back into custom APK, and let's uh, click on this and let's add something to it. So let's add yet another preset. Now remember, right now all we have is one, but if we add another one and let it update, that's what I'm gonna go through with you now is how to update this thing. I'm gonna do square snake color. And this is a complex animation, by the way. I'm getting used to my new computer. All right, let's back out of here. Now, if you're doing this all on your device, I'm pretty sure you can leave everything automatic. And, and if you come down here to manual now, this is uh, dot 10. Um, I, I don't, maybe it's ironic or maybe I've just messed around with this 10 times or something. I don't know, but it is 1050. I have, I don't know what that is. I know that's May 10th, but anyway, I'm going to leave it on automatic. Now let's see what happens if we put this on manual and we go to our custom APK maker folder. And if we load that key store into there. All right, so this, I'm pretty sure this is coming directly from the Google um, or Android Studio because I see this stuff in Android Studio. So I tell you what, if you want to update it, which I do, I did add a new preset. Um, let's leave this on automatic. Get back here. Let's leave this on automatic and let's click build yet again. And once that's done building, I'm going to upload this new APK right back into here. So over in the Google Play Developer Console, let's uh, create another release. Let's upload this new APK. And I have copied that over and I have, uh, now this one is a, uh, it's the same name, but notice the time, it's 1052, so I just did add this to my computer, because it's the same APK name, but now it has that new preset in there. And notice, you know, like I said, the key store, we kept it as automatic, notice the version name changed. Um, I don't, I can't remember what that was a while ago, but I'm gonna save draft. And assuming we don't wanna make any changes except for down here, uh, what's new in this release? Let me try this right here. Let me copy from previous release. And let me click copy that. I'm gonna see if I can fix this bug here. This is the second release. And if I click save, review, and let's roll out. All right, let's give it a few minutes and let's see if it updates on the Play Store. All right, so back into, uh, it did update and everything looks good now. I think the bug that I had while I go back in the Google Play Developer Console, just copy over something from a previous release, then use it. Uh, I, I don't know, when I tried to update Dark Skittles and KOWP Toots, it did not update this, but it did. You notice it says second release now, whereas while I go, it said first. And it's also showing up over here on my device in the Google Play Store, and now it does say update. Remember, we did up uh, install it while I go, and now we can update it. Notice it says second release. So if I click on update, give it a minute to do its thing. And now if we go back to the home screen, I'm assuming this had enough time to install. If I back out of here, uh, let's click on install. Let me just back out and go to load preset again. Give it a second to refresh. So load preset and let's see what we have here. So craft math free stuff, bam, see that? So that's that second preset I added a moment ago. And now there's two presets inside of this APK. So if I save that, go back to the home screen, and now we have that one as well. So again, um, if you've skipped over a bunch of stuff, <laughs> go back and watch it, especially if you're not familiar with the Play Store. Now I'm getting ready to delete this app, but again, um, I'm still gonna provide these two presets right here free for you all. This is where you can mess around with complex animations. Uh, cool stuff. But again, for the free, for these two free presets, they're going to be right here at this link, KOWP free stuff. And there you have it from, um, from dot KOWP to dot APK to the play store to updating. We did it all in this video and that's it for this video. I hope it helped.